Sorry there was no vlog on Tuesday Wednesday like I promised, it's been a mental week. Let me just improve the sound of this vlog. Plugging the microphone in and it now sounds a lot better, does it? Hopefully should, hopefully the microphone problems are all fixed. The main reason there's been no vlog, uh, my car has died. My title kind of tells you the story. What happened was, the mechanic said to me on Monday it needed a new or replacement engine and gearbox for my car. I was umming and ahhing about doing that, kind of realised that as the car had done over 150,000 miles, maybe it was a sensible decision not to throw any more money at it. Took some advice from my normal mechanic, my dad and a few other people, and decided to kill it. It's sad, uh, I've had a lot of memories in that car, I've driven a lot of miles, over 130,000 miles in it. That's kind of like a quarter of the way to the moon, isn't it, which is kind of scary thinking about it. Lots of memories, picking Charlie up from the hospital after he was born, and loads of other little things that kind of go through, as we all do with cars. So I was given a quote for scrap, thought, hmm, it's not great. Bear in mind, I put a new tyre on it about two weeks ago, and it's only done about 100 miles on that tyre, and that tyre cost me £95. So I stuck it on eBay uh, for a slightly more, put a buy it now price on a 300 pounds because I was told that was like the most I could expect for it. I sold it in 44 seconds and the guy's coming to pick it up in a minute. I so wish I put more money on it, but you know, hey ho, these things happen. And that chapter closes and new one opens up. Sad to see it go, but you know, these things. So big things happening practice wise. Uh, I've been working a lot trying to make sure even this last week with this happening has been a bit crazy. Um, my son's not very well upstairs, he's off school today so I'm trying to fit everything in, um, fitting in some uh, arguments about data protection as well. People kind of, guys, I mean I'm sure you all know this, but email is not secure. Um, people wanting personal details sending via email, really, really not a good idea to do that. So I need to head back to the um, compound, the garage, that has my car at the moment, my old car, because this guy's coming to pick it up from Birmingham, have that towed away, and then I've got some very, um, I've got, I'll, I'll share a couple of little practice tips with you that I've been working on recently. Does that sound sensible? Now my dad once had to scrap his Morris Oxford and here's a picture of it. And so recreated kind of that picture with Charlie just now, just kind of brought a memory back then of uh, dead cars. Sadly the guy's supposed to be picking this up, still isn't here. He said he was 30 minutes away an hour and 10 minutes ago. So whether he stopped for lunch or what. You reach the pedals. Oh. Problem is there's no engine in it working. <laughs> so bye bye BMW. That was fun trying to get it up that ramp without a winch. Thankfully the guy got it up first time. Well, that was mayhem, trying to get that car sorted. Eventually done, on the back of that lorry and gone. I've signed all the documentation over, it's done with. <sighs> Even more worrying is that I thought I had a meeting tomorrow evening that is now actually tonight, which means I've got even less time to get some practice done today. But I wanted to just talk about this idea I'm gonna work on today. Because it's kind of, I've been working with my Cambridge saxophone students on uh, Coleman Hawkins solo on all the things you are. You might have heard me talk about it a bit for a few weeks now. And Hawks has this amazing break. 
<laughs> Even better when the G sharp key opens. And what we're kind of looking at there, one of the things I like about what Hawkins does there, and remember, I've started this by listening to what Hawkins is doing. I haven't started it in a way I'm going to show you. So in a way, if you really want to get serious about learning this, go and listen a lot to what Coleman Hawkins is, is doing on this break. It's from the Live at the Village Gate album. Anyway, this is traditionally, and I'll deal with it in Tanaki here, it's traditionally in G minor, okay? That's what all the things you are is in. But what Hawkins is doing, now I'm kind of in a debate, I've been debating with two students. In a way, this uh, opening lick, particularly if you take it from the, miss the first two notes out. <laughs> That's almost whole tone all the way up, okay? Well, it is whole tone. Now, whole tone scales are actually quite easy once you know all your 12 major and minor, well, major scales, in that it's one, two, three in one scale, and then one, two, three in its tritone. So, one, two, three in B flat. One, two, three in E. But what Hawkins does is he slides a G natural in there. Which to me makes it a little bit Lydian dominant. With a raised, yeah. Well, it, it's whole. Let's deal with it as whole term. Anyway, what I'm going to get at is your start is kind of like an enclosure. So you've got this run up a whole tone scale, or whatever we say, with like an added, um, you know, kind of flattened six in the whole tone. Maybe some smart aleck will give me a comment below, and I don't mean that offensively. What I'm getting at is, all the things you are is in G minor, but Hawk is almost exclusively thinking kind of B flat whole tone, B flat altered with the, you know, with the augmented thing, just to give that break a real colour to it. And we often don't think of these older players um, as doing that much kind of almost modern stuff. You know, it's kind of everything. It's our Coltrane or Rollins did it. Well, no, here it is with Hawk. Uh, I know Hawkins was very hot on kind of bebop and was kind of one of those early bebop pioneers alongside the likes of Charlie Parker. But it's still interesting when you get into it and try and think about what's going on. And just, um, as you analyze it. Now, why do you do that? Because it can be like, you know, kind of dissecting a frog, it dies in the process. You do it to help you move it into different keys. So let's, for example, let's move this onto a C augmented, okay? Sorry, let's move it into say A minor, let's take it up a tone. So I could kind of, you know, just transpose it straight up, but kind of thinking, trying to use what's going on analytically with it. So I've got an enclosure which goes semitone below, tone above. And then up the whole tone scale from C. Ah. Hey. It takes more practice than you think to nail it down, you know, just trying to move it into different keys, especially if you've got it off a recording and it's so nailed in in its normal key. It becomes almost finger memory, which is what you want it to be, but you want to be able to translate it into different keys. And that's kind of how, kind of breaking it down, thinking of scales, um, thinking of whole tones. Now, how do you get better at that? You need to kind of work on your augmented arpeggio. So kind of go around the circle of fifths. Can you play kind of every augmented arpeggio? Obviously I should really be sticking the, uh, stick the metronome on the 60. I always like D, C concert to start with. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's C concert, it's there. So I'm going to play a D augmented arpeggio. And then kind of starting it, you know, just playing around with it a bit. Then move it on to a G. Augmented G, B, D sharp. Mm -hmm. 
That's about all the time I've got for today's vlog. It seems a good time to finish today. The battery light is flashing as well, so hopefully I won't get cut off in my prime. Um, we missed a coffee with Dan this week with Sarah Ellen Hughes. That will be, there's been rearranged for a few weeks time. It should have been yesterday, but with all the car things, we kind of uh, went off piste a little bit. Uh, I have a very exciting one coming up with Rachel Johnson, who I was playing with in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. If you don't already subscribe, please hit that subscriber button. It's so great to see so many subscribers coming on. We're about to break the three and a half thousand barrier which is great i'd really love to make it even higher though so please come and join us um i'll try my best to make all the content as interesting as possible and i will see you on sunday for a q a so if you've got any questions stick them in the comments box below hit me up on twitter or find me on facebook thank you very much for watching bye